Hello everyone. This is Gayatri. Welcome to channel. Today I am going to talk about one mathematical concept that is Bodmer's rule. Class five. Topic is Bodmer's rule. So here now we are going to discuss about what is Bodmer's rule and why we are using the Bodmer's rule and then with three example sums. What is Bodmer's rule? By ordering the mathematical operations. You already know about addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. These are all the mathematical operation, mathematical signs. So if this all signs can involve in one equation, so how can you solve this? You have a confusion. Which one we can solve first, then next? So this and all happen. For this purpose, we are using the Bodmer's rule. So here they given abbreviation for B. B stands for brackets. So you have to solve first brackets in the equation. Second one, O. O stands for off. If any square root or powers are there in the equation, you solve it next, second. Then D stands for division. So solve it as a third. And M stands for multiplication. And then addition. A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction. So you have to follow this order to solve the difficult equation. Let us see the examples. Here I given the first example 5 plus 7 into 4. So from this equation you have two signs are there that is one is a plus another one is a multiplication. So which one you have to apply you have to apply the board mass rule use the board mass rule so just look at this so multiplication is there before addition so you have to calculate the multiplication first that is 7 into 4 as 28 and then addition 5 plus 28 is 33 you just look at the second example here I given 12 divided by 2 plus inside the bracket 15 minus 4 so which one you have to solve here first so according to the rule here the first one is a brackets brackets are there so inside the bracket is 15 minus 4 is there so answer is 11 so after the brackets division division is there in the equation so after once if you solve the brackets then go for the division so here 12 divided by 2 you will get 6 that at last 6 plus 11 is 17. So this is the way you have to solve the equation. Let us see the one more example.